Alright everybody, Canadian Treasure Hunter here. I'm with my buddy Dan. Uh, we're doing a bit of detecting here just uh, near the North uh, Shore Mountain areas. Uh, just a small park here, not too big. Looks like maybe a 60s or 50s type park. Hopefully something turns up. Give you a close up with my buddy. So we need AT Pro. I'm using the uh, E-Track. So hopefully something pops up here. What I'll do is uh, keep you informed. I'll do uh, a wrap up later on. As you can see, it's a pretty small park. It's got tennis courts. It's near a highway, so it's pretty noisy. You can probably hear that road. Anyway, something pops up. I'll let you uh, keep you tuned. All the best. Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Have a great day. Hi everybody, Kane Treasure Hunter here. We uh, did about a two and a half hour hunt at that park that I showed you earlier. Uh, these are finds from Dan. I'll show you what you found. You found a 62 dog tag from West Vancouver. Kind of a nice find, pretty low number. Got a loony, quarter, uh, toonie. You got an English coin here, it says one penny. Let me turn it around so you can see it better. One penny. A uh, bunch of clad, mostly uh, pennies. I got about the same in pennies, uh, a couple nickels, a dime. I did end up getting a silver dime, a 67 silver dime, and a silver ring. This ring is uh, 925. Quite nice ring, quite happy about that. So we're just going to do a little hunting just in another area. Take a big long grass strip. I'll let you know how it produces. All the best, Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Hi everybody, Canadian Treasure Hunter here. Uh, these are my finds for the last two to three weeks. Uh, I've been really busy with work, but uh, I got some finds to show you. Uh, these are my finds here. I got a fake chain, two American quarters, a dime, a whole load of uh, copper, some American, some 40s pennies mixed with some zinc. Got a uh, Canadian quarter, five dimes, a flattened penny with a bit of design there. Get a little bit closer design, hard, hard to make it out, looks like it didn't make it properly. A couple keys. I got these uh, Asian coin. One's in 1997, let me just uh, zoom in better, 997. Another 50, they're both 50, so not really sure. Um, Marapara, something else. A piece of a uh, I thought it would be like a number or something with this plank. It's actually cut like a tag. Some kind of um, piece of copper. Not sure what that is. Part of an antenna for a car. Did get a uh, 67 silver dime. Undated. Two worn 40s. George the sixth penny. Or sorry, uh, dime. Uh, here's a blue jean thing with a little diamond in it. Here's a lighter, kind of a cool lighter, really early I guess, maybe from the 40s or 50s, nah, maybe 60s I would think, but it's got a corkscrew on one side, got the lighter, one on a keychain, kind of cool. Here's a, not really sure if it's something for a comb or something, but it's got a bit of or ornamentation on the side there, hard to make out. Not really sure what it is. There's a Paco, it was actually a fob or some sort of bracelet type thing. Did get a really nice silver ring. A 925 silver I got at that park. So really nicely designed. Men's ring. Kind of cool. I did get this um, um, no cash value with American Eagle. Kind of cool. Here's a no cash value game, Kelowna BC game token for uh, something golf course, golf and games, so on. Anyway, oh, and also I got this silver, a 925 heart pendant. Got it of a uh, baseball diamond. So I did get a little bit of silver. Um, I think I got um, that silver number three ring. 
of the year and I think I got 28 silver coins of the year so far also I got this uh, um, looks like a, a slide of some sort like a um, geometry type thing tool or uh, some sort of maybe a I think what it might have been is to make adjustments and measurements because there is numbers all here hard to make it out but it's actually wood that's all wood with wafer of metal inside it so it must be a slide tool for measurements of some sort got it in the woods there so it's probably pretty early anyways what I'd like to show you is uh, I did uh, end up uh, selling all my beat up rings, all my gold rings and like I say, um, you may not find everything that you ever desire metal detecting, but you can always take scrap, you can take uh, junk jewelry, uh, silver coins, you can get your best coins that you can't never metal detect just with the proceeds. Well, I'll show you what I did to end up investing in. I got a Switzerland uh, 10 franc gold coin. These are all the coins I picked up recently when I sold all my gold jewelry. It's so Iranian, 1916 Iranian coin, gold. That's um, from Hungary, 1870, gold coin. Here's one of the Colombia, 1919, Colombia. Here's Iran, 1910, gold coin. Here's a uh, 10 kroner, um, could be Norway, I'm not really sure on this one to be honest. I picked up this super old coin here, Constantine IV. 668 to 6, no, 855 AD gold coin, just a beautiful gold coin, excellent condition, hammered and super early. Got that. Got a really nice coin from the 1680s from Italy. Sorry about the glare. That's, I'm quite happy with that one. I got a Spain, Charles III from 1787, Charles III. And I uh, had a $50 Bahamas coin. What I'll do is I'll flip it around. You can see the back sides. Not sure what order it's going to be in, but I'll have to do a little bit of twisting here. Okay, well, that's probably backwards, but that's one. That's the Bahamas. Can't see that one. That's the back of that uh, coin. Actually, I'm going to twist this one this way. That one's the back of that 1680s coin. That's the back of the uh, Constantine IV. Really cool, excellent condition, beautiful coin. There's another coin here, I'm not sure which that one is. That's probably Iran, maybe. Okay, I gotta get back up here. Okay, that's the back of the Hungry coin, 1870. It was quite nice. And I think this is Iraq, I believe. And that's us. Uh, it's a little just reverse it here. And just let me find out where it is. Yeah, there's Switzerland there. Quite nice condition. So it actually shows you, you know, you may not ever find a gold coin in your lifetime, but it doesn't they're not far away. I mean it doesn't take much to trade a couple junk rings and get a nice gold coin. Or, you know, a nice silver a silver um, coin or a nice old large penny so just think of it you know uh, detecting is an excellent hobby with great rewards and um, remember you cannot melt detect everything you know you have to either if you want a good collection you have to buy and trade what I did like I say I did trade it up my junk rings for these gold coins and these are all like you know 22 karat gold and like I say a ring uh, being 10 carat is only 40% so even though it's 30 grams it's only like 40% so ideally you know it takes a lot of uh, junk rings to make an ounce of gold unless it's uh, 18 carat or higher if you know what I mean so anyways that's the wrap up here um, sorry about the glare but I uh, just want to show the point is um, it doesn't take much to uh, assume a very nice collection Every year, you know, you're always getting junk silver, and you know what? You know, tarnished coins that are worn, they're just uh, usually 10 or 12, no, maybe like 12 to 14 times face value. So any dollar is worth like 12 to 14 dollars at today's market. 
And I think uh, 10 karat gold's around $18 a gram. 14 carats, like probably around 25, 26. And as you get more pure, the price gets higher. And even your sterling silver, like your knives and forks, they're worth probably around between 60 and 70 cents a gram. And if you're lucky and you hit old spots, you know, and you got forks that are missing pieces, so you could always just trade it up for some nice coin. And like I say, you can have a coin that's 200 years old, and they're not that expensive. You know, uh, like I picked up those two cents. I picked a Flying Eagle last time and a two cent coin. And they're all inexpensive, reasonable. I could have just took 20 bucks and change, pocket change, and, and, and got into a beautiful coin. So anyways, uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Um, really glad to, you know, the weather's getting better probably for you guys down south. Or back east also. Uh, you know, we're just still kind of hovering around, you know, like 4 or 5 Celsius at night. And going up to 10, 10 to 15 daytime Celsius. So, anyways, the weather's opening up. Good luck to everybody. Thanks again for subscribing. All the best. Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Have a great day.